What's up guys, how you doing today? This is Chris Malhoy coming to you with another video. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really excited. What we're gonna be going over today is a little bit of a book review. We're gonna be talking about Eric Worre's GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional. Check it out right here. Eric Worre is the man. If you don't know him yet and you're in network marketing, you are missing out big time. Uh, I've been to multiple of his GoPro events, GoPro Network Marketing Recruiting Mastery, which is out in Vegas. The last one, unfortunately, was not in Vegas because of this whole COVID pandemic thing that we got going on here, which absolutely sucks. I cannot wait to get back into in-person uh, meetings because it is just killing me. Like I, the events and the trips that we go on is what makes network marketing so amazing for me. That's what I really thrive on. But what we can do in the meantime is sit here and talk to each other on camera, on Zoom, on YouTube, and things like that. So Eric Worre's GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional is exactly what it sounds like. It's helping you to learn how to become a network marketing professional. Um, what's really cool, I've been in the industry for nine years, uh, been with the same company the entire time, and I read this book within probably my first month of enrolling into the business. So now I'm actually probably on my fourth or fifth time reading this book, and I'm telling you what's really cool about it is it changes as you change and you grow as a person and as a distributor and as a business person. Um, you just learn so much and then you can go back and reread the book. I mean, it's the same with a lot of books you can do this with, uh, but this one's really cool because a lot of the stuff you picked up on the beginning was more uh, the basics, you know? We'll go over some of the chapters for you guys. Uh, but in the beginning, it was more of the basics, you know, learning how to invite, learning why you use a three-way call, you know, the fundamentals of network marketing. As I'm rereading it right now with a group that I'm a part of, with a guys group for network marketing, which is pretty cool. It's a kind of a cool idea to have something special off to the side for the guys since there's so few of us in network marketing. It's definitely, we're outnumbered here. Um, but you pick up different stuff on it. So I'm nine years in, I'm rereading it for like the fifth time, and I'm just picking up so many different nuggets, which are really cool. So I'm gonna run through some of the chapters for you guys and just kind of give you a little breakdown on what I thought of it going through it this time and how it's relating to me. And I highly recommend that you guys pick up this book. And if you wait till the end, I got a special gift for you, a little freebie, a resource for you guys to help you with your businesses. I'll toss that in there at the end for you, all right? so. We got chapter, uh, there's 12 chapters. So chapter one, network marketing isn't perfect, it's just better, which is Eric Worre's kind of tagline, and he's so right. So that's more just kind of going over the concepts of network marketing, and just to touch on that, network marketing isn't perfect, but it is better. Uh, you go to jo your job every day, you hope you get a raise. Uh, a lot of people tend to leave jobs every two to three years at this point, so they can try to move up the ladder. What's really cool about network marketing is you don't have to go from company to company to get a raise. You can go from rank to rank and double your income. Uh, it's this, this way in our company, and it's pretty much the same way in almost every company, from rank to rank. So our company, uh, we have a ranking system. It's simple, it just goes one through 10. Uh, so when you go from a four to a five, there's about a double in your pay. You're going from about $1,100 a month to like $2,500 a month, I think three grand a month, somewhere around there. So you're doubling, that's even more than doubling your income. For a job to go from, say you're making $60,000 a year to get a raise to $120,000 a year, you're, it's basically just not gonna happen because that's a completely different job description. That's not the same job. You have to quit that job, go start over somewhere else. With network marketing, if you wanna go from 60,000, say, I'll just use our company for example, you go from Pro 6, which is what on the income disclosure sheet, uh, probably about sixty to seventy thousand dollars to uh, Pro Seven, you know. So you're going up one rank, uh, and you're doubling your income. Staying with the same company, just expanding on your skills, expanding on everything that you've learned. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, and that stuff you're not going to be able to do without Eric Worre helping you out along the way. So network marketing isn't better, isn't perfect. It's just better. Uh, great start to the book. If you're gonna be involved in network marketing, decide to be a professional and go pro. Um, so if you're here watching this video today, you're taking the first step as to becoming a network marketing professional. Now, I'm not saying just because you're watching my video, but in general, if you're out there and you're watching videos on network marketing, you're doing what it takes to become a professional. There's a lot of people out here, there's a lot you can learn from, uh, from all these different speakers and presenters and YouTube guys and YouTube girls, um, but 
becoming educated is the step to becoming better. Uh, like any profession, chapter three, like any profession, you need to learn some skills. Going through this book is going to give you some of those skills like I was talking about before. How to invite somebody, the the idea of inviting and not being, you know, kind of a spammy, you know, spammy Pamela Anderson. How does, one of the guys says it's so funny. I can't remember what it is. But anyways, learning the skills, how to do a three-way call, stuff like that. Chapter four, finding prospects. What is network marketing without prospects? What is any business without prospects? You have to have people in the funnel that are gonna be interested in buying your stuff or joining your team uh, regardless. Finding prospects is a huge part of that. It's chapter four, inviting the prospects to understand your product or company. Duh, you know, but that goes back to the invite and how you have the system of things that you're gonna present to them using your third party validation, using your tools, using your team to go through and help that stuff, uh, help you do that stuff, not just doing it all yourself. Chapter six, skill number three, presenting your product to your, uh, presenting your product or opportunity to your prospects. So now, like I said, that is using the system, having a pre-recorded webinar, having a upline third party member that can actually help talk to people for you. Um, so you're not doing it yourself. It has to be duplicatable. You can't be just doing it all yourself because it just doesn't work that way uh, because nobody can just do it themselves right out of the gate. Uh, chapter seven, following up. That's a huge part of it. We all, we talked about this in a different video of mine. Um, most people don't follow up more than one or two times. And I think it's like 70 or 80% of the sales happen on the sixth or seventh touch. So if you're not following up with anybody, you're only going to get, uh, you know, 5%, maybe, you know, three or 4% that are gonna sign up after your first exposure. It's all about the follow-up. That is why you have a meeting so you can book another meeting. That's the whole reason for having a meeting. Uh, so that's some important stuff to know. Uh, helping your prospects become a, a customer or distributor. That's obviously kind of important, right? Uh, chapter nine, helping your distributor get started. This is like, you can't put in uh, enough emphasis on this. You can't just sign somebody up and say, good luck, make me proud. You know, you have to go and help them get started. They don't know what they're doing. You know, even if they've been in network marketing before, they don't know your company's ins and outs. You got to help them with it. Uh, promoting events, the most important skill that you can know in network marketing, because promoting events is where you see your business grow. Uh, Eric Worre said that there's a stat in network marketing. For every person on your team you have at your next major corporate event, you will make about $1,000 that year in income. Uh, that is just kind of the way that it works. So if you want to make $100,000 a year in network marketing, he said this after studying the top earners and you know regular earners, everybody from network marketing, he's been able to have his finger on the pulse of network marketing for a long time. If you want to make $100,000 a year, find 100 people on your team that want to attend the next event with you. And you're going to be well on your way to hitting that 100K a year mark. Uh, chapter 11, anything worthwhile takes time. That's how I feel about this YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I'm just getting started with this. I'm about a month and a half in, I'm making regular videos. Same thing with my network marketing business. Anything worth worthwhile takes time. I've been doing it for nine years, uh, and it takes time. And every month my paycheck is growing. I'm very fortunate to have that situation, but it takes time to grow something. It takes time to learn the skills. When I first got started, I had no clue what I was doing. I was just running around like crazy talking to everybody. Luckily that worked for me. Uh, but then I started learning some real skills in network marketing and that's where it takes time to make that happen. And then chapter 12, it's all worth it. And that's kind of summing it all up, uh, letting you know what you're going to be able to expect from expanding, um, your business portfolio or your streams of income into network marketing. I think, Honestly, if you aren't in network marketing, it's kind of silly in this day and age to not have a side gig, to not have a home-based business. Uh, first of all, it's something that can't be taken from you uh, unless you go breaking compliance and doing things like that. Uh, most of the time, you can't have your business taken from you. Uh, occasionally, the company will fail. That's why I recommend doing your due diligence, looking at the companies before you join so you know where they stand and what their uh, financials look like. Maybe a publicly traded company would be a good one to take a look at, something that I chose. Um, but you know, understanding that this industry is here to help you, is to help you grow, help you become a better person in business, a better person in life. Uh, and it's also 
the way I looked at it was this is my retirement. This is the, what I was gonna start building when I was 30 years old. So when I was in my 50s and 60s, I didn't have to worry about retiring because I didn't have any money saved up. I was a bartender. I had no 401ks. I had no stock portfolios put together. But what I do have now is a leveraged income that I've been growing over the last nine years that is rock solid. It doesn't go up and down and up and down and up and down all crazy like this. It is pretty dang consistent straight across the board. Ticks up a little bit, maybe ticks down a little bit, but very, very small percentages in, in how it changes. Uh, and that just comes to having a solid organization of people that are consuming product. You know, have having a very solid product as well that people tend to stay on for a long period of time. So I told you guys I was gonna give you a freebie. How are we looking at time here? Long video, so hope you guys are bearing with me, but this freebie is gonna be great. It is going to give you the ability to stay on top of your stuff. Like I said, anything worthwhile takes time, like Eric Worre said. Um, well, the best way to keep track of making sure that you're doing work on a daily basis is having an accountability tracker, having a sheet that you can actually um, hold up at the end of the day and say, all right, I did this many invites, I did this many follow-ups, I did this many presentations, um, I signed up this many customers and this many distributors. These are the things that are important. Um, this, I did my 30 minutes of personal growth today. Those are the things that are really important and this doing it every single day. You don't have to do nine hours of work every single day, but you gotta get in at least a half an hour, an hour's worth of work every day and that will snowball and compound over time and you'll end up with an incredibly large business uh, in a matter of a few months to a few years. You know, It depends on how it shakes out for you. But if you stick with it and you keep doing the right behaviors and you keep getting this information in front of people, you're gonna find your crew, you're gonna find the people that wanna work with you and the people that wanna run with you. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm gonna toss that free resource for you down in the comments. Well, actually on YouTube here, it's gonna be in the description below. So just do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe button, hook me up with that and I will get that link down for you in the description here. Thank you guys for hopping on today. I appreciate it. Have a great day, and if you haven't bought it yet, go check out Eric Worre's GoPro. It's an incredible book. Talk to you guys later.